What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 19th Angular 2 tutorial in which we'll be finally finishing off with our simple card application which we have been developing so far. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is that I'm going to add a bit of code so that we can actually pass the card from one component to another and yes we can do that using services, something called as services in Angular 2 but we are a little bit far away from discussing about that and it might take a bit of time as well. So for this application purpose, I'm just going to push all of the card stuff into the, um, what do you say that, local storage actually. So yeah, so let's get started. Now I'm going to say local storage dot cart items is JSON. And remember that you can only store strings in local storage. So I'm going to say this dot card right there. So here we go. I just go to uh, resources, click on any item. We see that the card items are added as it is. So we have these three items. And again, if I go to my card page, we do have the local storage intact. So what I can do is inside my component.card, I can say that my public card is actually json.parse local storage dot get item and we have the key name as card items card items and voila as you can see we got all of these things right here lined up perfectly now what you can do is that you can actually make the templates of both of these web pages similar. For example, you can just copy this header and paste it inside this card module. And you might then get a similar feel and look for the whole web application. And this was a quick tutorial on how to just fix up your card page so that it displays all of that stuff. And as an assignment, what I can give you is that you can just make use of a cross here which would what it would do is that it would actually just remove this movie from the cart and I might even tell you the algorithm for that you just have to search for the local storage having this get item or you can just from the cart itself you can just make use of the index of property to remove whatever at index this item is located or again a better solution is that since they are in the same um, you know in the same order of their um, in the same order in which they are located in this card array what you can do is you can just get on the click of each of these allies you can get the location where each of the ally for example this one is at zeroth position this one is first this one is second then accordingly you can just pop it out out of array or not pop it out but actually just you know just kind of make it null because if you just pop it out then if there's another movie down the list you you know you just get the idea you can just kind of do it if you want to so what you have to do as an assignment i'm giving you is that just make sure that you have a cross button here which on clicking just removes the um, local storage this item from local storage and again if I just go back to this page I must have the option to add that movie again and yes I guess I told you about that assignment actually whoa so we have <laughs> actually removed some sort of things right from the local storage that might be some sort of glitch in the program oh so oh okay so the problem is that every time i am actually clicking on the uh, this visiting this page it is actually creating the same array again and again the empty one so again what i can do to fix is that i can either check whether there's an array available in the local storage and if it is then use that particular array instead of just creating a new one and again, I'll leave this to you guys. So that's all for this tutorial. And from the next tutorial, we'll be learning something new about Angular 2. 
and something interesting as well and again we are not completely done with routing there is a lot to learn in routing and we have just begun so that's all for this tutorial and i'll see you then in the next series of angular 2 i don't know what we'll be creating but that would be awesome so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you liked it